Since we've started the treatment, we have noticed significant gains in Mindy's uh, neck stability. She's able to hold her neck up, her range of motion, her decrease in tone, her improved ability to speak, and also uh, she also gained some movement in her right upper extremity, whereby she did not have before. And this, all these gains were within the two week period of time that we had treatment here. I'm really stronger. My voice, I'm happy I can move my hand. My neck control. So I feel good. Mindy was first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. During that time, she received many MS-modifying medications that actually worked against her system. Every three months, Mindy would end up in the hospital due to exacerbations that continued and continued decline in her function. After consulting with physicians over at the Mayo Clinic, we then identified that Mindy was not diagnosed appropriately. She did not have multiple sclerosis. However, a different disease called Devick's disease. Devick's disease is basically a combination of two degenerative neuromuscular diseases. One is optic neuritis and one is transverse myelitis. Due to the fact that she had this disorder as opposed to MS, the medication had to be changed. We then consulted with another neurology group in New York City, whereby they were treating her for Devick's disease. However, the treatment was a little bit limited due to their abilities to, pre to prescribe medications and other remedies. Mindy attempted multiple injections, combination of injections, oral pills, IV infusions, plasmapheresis, all of which were not helpful. We then considered stem cell transplantation. The treatment here has really been above and beyond what we would expect in a medical facility or even in any clinic. We received a hyperbaric chamber, multiple IV, vitamin treatments, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, aquatic therapy, and of course IV stem cells and then a series of three lumbar puncture stem cells. All of the treatment and therapies that we received here have really been above and beyond what we would have expected in a hospital setting and better yet outside of the United States. The aquatic treatment was very special for my wife not only because she used to be an avid swimmer recreationally but she was able to stand up for the first time in uh, five years. I was so happy to stand up for the first time in five years. That's so good. So that was a very special moment for my wife. We found out that the facility through my cousin who was doing a master program, program in Florida. And she researched it and found it and shared it with us. The program that she's in in Florida, we're discussing uh, different neurological diseases and their treatment protocols. Uh, it was quite unique in not only the type of cells that they were using, but also their protocol in itself. So after she forwarded to us, we then contacted and filled out the form that's on the website, and within 24 hours, a representative of uh, Faith uh, contacted us and we started our discussions in pursuing if stem cell transplantation would be appropriate for us. The staff in the facility are very, very friendly, 
very helpful. They go above and beyond what you would expect in any sort of uh, medical facility. The meals are really unbelievable what they prepare for the patients uh, under the guidance of a nutritionist that you have a consultation with. So it's geared towards optimizing Mindy's rehabilitation function and return. Uh, the rehabilitation area is quite spacious where you have ample equipment to provide uh, with physical therapy and occupational therapy. The aquatic facility is also quite nice uh, and also unique in itself. And with my wife's uh, uh, present situation, she required two physical therapists to be uh, to uh, assist her in her therapy inside the, uh, the aquatic area and in the pool. Uh, that you would definitely not have in the United States, uh, especially in the New York setting. I had to try something and this was not very also broken. So this um, helped me increase my voice and helped me increase my ability to know a little bit. Mindy had to try something because all she was doing was sitting at home and declining. And we, even though we were trying to be proactive at home in any therapies uh, that she would be able to tolerate and possibly have improvements, it still wasn't going to be the, the end all. Uh, at least with stem cells, our goals were to prevent progression of the disease process and hopefully rehabilitate the nerves in order to increase and improve function and strength and overall strength, which I think we, we accomplished here in a matter of two weeks. Uh, she met some of our short-term goals already and we anticipate meeting some more goals as the stem cells mature within her body.